Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the dew roots and especially we will talk about the one filter. I wanna show you the some features which is I'm using in my daily work. Maybe you will find it interesting and you will use it in your own work. So if you're ready for this tutorial, let's get started. I will start from the uh, standard template, as you can see here, the standard template from the 2022 Revit. This is architecture one. And uh, let's say you have here the rooms. I already switched it uh, on the on my rooms, as you can see here. And uh, for example, you want to select some for example, furniture inside the cafe kitchen. How you can do that? You can do it, of course, manually. You can use the filter, filter it by, for example, the furniture. But also you can use the one filter. You just open the your one filter. It's getting the data from your project. After that, you just simply going to the contains. And after that, active view. Uh, don't forget change area to the rooms because we exactly know the room switches we are using here. Is as, as you can see the number it's hundred two and cafe kitchen. Okay, so the next thing what I'm gonna do here I wanna select the hundred. Uh, I already forgot the number hundred two. It's here the cafe kitchen as you can see and I wanna for example select all the furniture inside. So do I have any furniture inside? Let me I will check it. Yeah, I have here the some furniture. Let me I will check it. And let's click find on the right side. Let's click the find. And as you can see, we didn't find any uh, furniture inside. Is it true? Yes, this is true because actually we are using here the not furniture. Let me I'll check. We are using here the food servicing equipment as you can see. And let's change to the food service equipment. It's easy as it is a and it's here as you can see let me well uncheck the furniture and uh, check the food service equipment and let's try to find it and as you can see we found uh, all the our uh, the same category inside in this room how i understand it let me well select and i will show you now we selecting all this as you can see the uh, furniture the food servicing equipment uh, and as you can see it's selecting exactly in this room not out only in this room this is pretty awesome so what you can do with this information you will say you can easily write this information inside to this uh, food uh, equipment services how we can do that go back after that don't sell it uh, so you can select it it doesn't matter set parameter value let me I'll click on that and here for example I will use the comment for this parameter and here set parameter value in comma separate formats okay let me I will apply it now it's apply information it's already complete uh, let me I will hide it so uh, what I did actually if you look here under the comments now you can see all our all our food services have the name uh, 102 this is actually number of our room and cafe kitchen so this is name and now we can easily sort this information to create the schedule this is pretty awesome you have the special parameter you can now sort it and you can calculate for example how many some uh, let's say the furniture the services equipments or uh, some special equipments you have in each room you can easily separate it actually this is much power thing what you can use uh, what else you have here if you will go back you will find here for example the visualize yes you can visualize all this uh, food services equipment for example let me I, as you can see here i was selecting category our filter is here and now we can select parameter for example to make it um, the color to give it color let's say so how we can do that uh, let me I will say this will be the families not family and type just family as you can see and as you can see all different families have different uh, the color you can use the type and now it's dividing by type uh, if you will use for example our comment all will be the same color because have hey, all this uh, mm, the service equipment have the same name but you can create for example a lot of different uh, the selections so you have the colors this is awesome 
Let me, I will reset it because I don't need any colors and I will go you back. I will go back to the contains. What else we have here? Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, different uh, categories. Actually, this is on the active view. If you will change to the uh, whole model, you will get more categories because this will be searching through the whole model. Here you can, for example, use also the, for example, you need uh, select the food service equipment and I don't know why you need the doors. Select the doors and find it and you will find some doors too, as you can see it here, two doors. If I will select all these two doors, give me a second, and as you can see, we selected these two doors too. It's also a nice thing because now you can, for example, select only doors, for example, and write the comment, this is doors actually going to the kitchen, so you can define the value, this is cafe kitchen door, why not? What else you can do here? You can change the room, for example, to the scope box. You can create the small scope box and select some categories inside the scope box. As you can see, in my active view, I doesn't have any scope boxes, but if I will go to the whole the model, I will find the grids, levels, um, like view overall. View overall, as you understand, it's the all our model. Also, you can easily, for example, change to the mass form. You can create the mass form. You can select this mass form. Actually, we can do it right now. This is really easy and fast. Let me will show here the mass form, as you can see. I selected it on. Now it takes a bit of time, so it's already here. And if I will give me escape, and if for example I will create the uh, model in place, I want to create the mass one. Why not? Uh, we create here, we will do it here. Let me will do like this, and I will select some tables too, uh, and I will create the form. Mm -hmm. It, it will be, I think, enough, or I will go to the 3D, and I will change the height there. So, and let me, I will do like this. So, as you can see, here is the my form. What we're going to do else, let me, I will finish this form, and after that, we will go back to the plan. So, we're done with our form. After that, oh, I will go back again to the one filter. As you can see, one uh, adding, but so much powerful. Uh, it's recalculating again, and as you can see, if we will go to the contains, and after that we will go to the mass, active view, you will find here the our mass, even the area of our mass. So it doesn't matter about our area because we need only. I wanna select all the furniture inside this mass, and let me will find it, and we find it. As you can see, it's easy as it is. You can create all different, for example, masses. I don't know why, maybe you have the some idea why creating, or you're using, for example, mass like the uh, row direction. You wanna just, uh, for example, uh, get some elements which is going inside in this road. And as you can see, uh, define this value, we get all this furniture. So this is awesome. The same things, it's working with the spaces, it's working with the zone, rooms and area, it's all working the same idea. But if it contains, it means you can select and write the sum parameter. You can go again to the set parameter and you can set these parameters inside to this, uh, give me a select this element and set parameters. You should set it, select first. And for example, uh, I will use the first of Lovitico. It will be on. It okay for us. Let me will contain it. Give me a second. It's final. It's finished. And let's see what we have inside the comment. Where is our comment? Comment is here. And as you can see, mess number one. Awesome. We spent not so much time, but we already wrote the right comment. Comment, and now we can use it in our schedule after that. And let's. I will finish with the schedule. Uh, let's go inside to the schedule. We want to create the new one. Right click, create the new schedule quantities. And uh, I want to use the food. Where is the food services? It's here. Food services doesn't matter about the name. 
let's use it oh we interesting the count and uh, family and type let's say family and type it will be first so what else we need we also need of course the comment because we wrote our parameter inside to the comment here the comment let me will make it last one let me will say okay so what we will get we will get this one as you can see and as you can see some the food uh, services not uh, in our room and we can easily see it here so now we can just make the sorting let me will sorting by the comments and with the header also of course i wanna calculate it let me will go to the contain and after that i wanna make calculation uh the total let me also say okay so uh, here is oh i forgot the one thing <laughs> sometimes it's happen oh we need the footer and total only here so as you can see here it's really nice because now it's calculating how many have uh, we have in one room and it's dividing by room here no room because we didn't write anything but here we have the room of course you can uh, for example do like this you can hide these comments and now you will get the, the more data also you can now use the another filter like the by levels whatever but now you can easily calculate how many the some special equipments you have in each room without uh, the handwork this is really awesome because you can use the automated things such as uh, the roots one so this is it it was small tutorial small uh, life hacks pro from the my daily work if you are really like these small tutorials and small ideas just let me know below the comments and i will try to share you as much as i can thank you guys for watching and see you next time